Hello everyone, Tman978. Thanks to a lovely donation from No Effort Randomness on his birthday week, no less. <laughs> I get the review Transformers Netflix War for Cybertron Trilogy spoiler pack, which everybody should know is Nemesis Prime right there. I don't know why they keep doing this. I, I think they probably already stopped, but the spoiler pack is a horrible decision by Hasbro the Transformer team because people look at this and they probably think oh that's full of junk like that nobody's gonna want like those little blind boxes at GameStop anywho let's get this out of the way inside we once again get this vat of black play-doh that's covered in plastic I guess to keep it nice and moist because play-doh dries up and gets rocky What's inside of this Play-Doh? I guess this might be the Earth's ore or something like that. Let's find out by digging away in there. Yay. Fun times to be had by kids who collect $60 Transformers. Or at least that was the original price. Inside you get three Energon cubes that are going to be stored away somewhere never to be used yay fun times well if I was a little kid I have all this black play-doh here's everything you get in the package already all on him this set comes with a lot it feels like more than that what came with Ultra Magnus even though technically Ultra Magnus was a Voyager glass figure with battle armor that turned into a trailer this just feels like way more what I like about it is this came out during Earthrise, and this is the Siege Optimus repainted instead of the Earthrise Optimus. So I just think that's more suited for a Nemesis Prime or a Scourge type of dude. He's like bigger, he's bulkier than the Earthrise, and I think it's more fitting. I'm going to get some of the accessories and smaller stuff out of the way. This is Feng Chan, which is a Battlemaster. Sneak Decepticon. As you can clearly tell, it's a repaint of Slither Fang, just more of in a pinkish hue, just like these Energon cubes, which are a gummy material. He comes with this blast effect. Only real paint it has is the that right there. And the head it seems to be, yes, yeah, it's, it's pink, but it's painted. And the eyes are painted right there. Everything else is just pink glasses. It has like fake treads right there. I guess this will be the end of the tail. And the articulation has this. And it rotates and bends and whatnot. The way he works is you can lift this panel up. Lift that panel up. These two holes cover the pegs right here. And bring this in. And now it is a shield or a street piece like a plank. If it's being used as a shield, you can pull out the peg, attach it to a character's arm, and then you can use this blast effect to act like it's deflecting a shot. The trailer is exactly the same trailer that came with Earthrise. This is its open form, like the repair bay with the drone hanging out right here. The drone is detachable. You can connect it to the back of Prime or any other robot. Or you could pretend that it's like, I wish there was some way that I could attach it to this so that it could have the treads at the bottom. But if you have Roller, you could use it for him as well. Roller came with the the, that drone pack but anyway this has this type of articulation and it can rotate the shoulders are on a ball joint you get limited amounts of, of rotation right there you have blast effects ports right there which are 5 millimeter holes you can put things in there and that is deep like here's one of the swords that come with Nemesis Prime you can stick that that far in there the end of the trailer has this connecting point. We could extend the ramp 
by shoving this straight on there. So, yeah. And you can pull out this. So, there's that. And this thing, just like when I complained in Earthrise, it is just cheap and flimsy. And it appears, this plastic in the middle is very thin. And it appears to be warped. Like, I don't know if you could just see it, but it's it's warped. It was in there held by twisty ties and whatnot. Here it is compared to Earthrise Optimus right there. You can see the Autobot logo is in, in a complete different spot. Down the bottom, you can attach things. And this panel can slide out to be a shield for a Nemesis Prime. Here's this sword. It was reused from another figure, but I can't remember which figure. At least I believe that to be true. And if you got somebody like the Studio Series Grimlock who didn't come with the sword, let's see what this looks like. I can't, I was trying to get this between the, the claws right there, but I can't. So I'm just going to put it in or attempt to put it in this way. Yikes, I can't get that in his hands. I think somebody told me they use this for their Grimlock, but I can't get more than that much of the handle in the hand, so yeah, there you go with that. As you can see, I have these two big ass cannons on his shoulders, oh, I mean his forearms. They actually have two little tiny pegs that are recessed in, it's a miracle that it sits on there. The instructions show you to put it this way, but that is horrible because it, that is not a scare fit. This is definitely more what it was intended to do. And unfortunately, this has no ports on the side. So I you, you can't even really put this on the trailer in any significant way. It, it It's frustrating. You can't even store it on the bottom, really. He has this sword right here, which desperately could have used some paint. Especially when you see what the sword can do. The sword is an actual transformer called Giza. You can move this back, separate this right here, and rotate the wings that way. And now it becomes some type of Cybertronian bird with really long wings. And there's gun detail right there, like a little laser beak chicken. It kind of reminds me of laser beak from the Michael Bay films. But it, come on, focus. It desperately needed some paint since it's like a full robot. And finally, Nemesis Prime. As stated, it is a black, gray, and teal repaint of Siege Optimus Prime, the exact same figure. Who, in some ways, I kind of like better than the earth rising i don't know why they went with gray plastic back here this mold and the earth rise mold, and all the repaints that they came out with they made some odd color choices but it still looks good they put a little dab of red paint right there you see it has the decepticon logo and it's covered with these ports so you can put the little blast effect there to make it look like he's taking fire but looks good really poseable the neck is on a ball joint can look downish upish <laughs> tilt side to side a tiny taste and of course rotate the shoulders have a backwards butterfly none for it they can rotate and go out to the side with this panel opening there we are bicep rotation and the elbow bends slightly more than 90 wrist rotates waist rotates legs go out to the side all the way come forward only there there's no crotch panel so it stops goes back that much you have swivel right there at the hip that stops it's limited unless you go up a little bit you do get a swivel above the knee on top of that. The knee bends more than 90. And you have ankle pivot. Now, mm, 
without all of that armor, I mean, all those weapons I had on this body, when I first took it out, it kind of filled, felt, filled. it kind of felt lightweight and cheap quality plastic. And stuff like this neck not being tight doesn't help the case. But I think my brain has gotten used to it. So it just feels like any other Transformer that you've gotten recently. Same gun from Earthrise. Let me try to make this lighter. Because this camera is driving me nuts. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is a peg one only. You can't really use it to act like a blast effect. Outside of not coming with its own blast effects that you can use, this is one of the most ultimate Transformers play sets like ever. It's so many things that you can do with it, so many variations because it comes with so many accessories. Like it has three individual robot drones that he can use. On top of the two big ass cannons, he has a separate sword, a separate gun, which you see I have attached to Fangtron. And I do have that shield from the trailer on his arm right there. So there's so much play value in this that it's nuts. And let me go the extra mile of attaching this right there. So there's everything. The only thing I don't have attached to his body is the trailer and the cubes. All right, here is Nemesis Prime in truck mode. If you have the seeds raisin, you already know what to expect here. It's just black and gray, black and silver with some reddish tints right there. Armored up truck. Could be from Cybertron, could be from Earth. That was the cool mixture right there. Since we have this port right there exposed, you can take this trailer and attach it in there. And it does work mostly. Yeah, there we go. This wheel back there is lifted up, but all the other wheels are rolling and it can turn a little bit. Now, I'm be honest with you. Well, you know what? Here's probably my problem with that. <laughs> Let's do that again. All right, now, now we're good to go. Make sure you have the the kickstand pushed back. I thought it would be crazy if they didn't engineer this to work with this version and the Earthrise, but you can't turn all the way around because the peg hole is too far up. Item storage in this mode, Yeesh, it is difficult. Like, I can't get these guns right there, which would have been cool. Can't get them right there because they're too wide it would be dragging onto the ground you can't really store it on the inside because everything else is taking up all that space i'm able to get the gun in various spots on there and i can stick these two swords inside of the drone i had to cram what is his name I keep forgetting. fangdron i had to just cram him underneath of there but I am able to technically get everything inside of here and have the two guns slightly ported. This gun on both sides, I, it is loose, but this one, I can peg that decent. and peg it decent here, so I don't know what's up with that. But it would have been nicer if they did come up with some better pegs to actually fit into this. Because, like I said, these are very recessed in there. All right, here's this comparison between Earthrise Optimus Prime and Nemesis Prime right there. What if these were made to go on this Optimus, but then at the last minute they decided that guy looks more armored up, so we should use that Optimus. Let's let you see it from the front. Plain Earth Optimus, armored up truck Optimus or Nemesis Prime. And this is Optimus without this thing filling in that gap. Feet are pretty much the same. 
But I think there's a massive amount of retooling with everything else. But you already knew this. I like it. I like this set. I wish it had more compatibility in the vehicle mode with the accessories, but I really like the robot mode. The truck mode is decent with and without the trailer. Uh, you know I complained in Earthrise. I wish the trailer was a little bit bigger and more substantial, but maybe they couldn't do that for whatever reason for the price point when they created that. Well, that's the only downside to the trailer, but everything else functions and works right, and I definitely like the playability in, in robot mode and, and it has good playability here so adult or kid this is a good figure thank you once again no effort randomness for the random gift and until next time t-man 978 out of here thank you for watching join the syndicate toy hunters facebook group link in the description videos click the in videos baby click click the videos you should really click these videos click click the videos click those in videos baby click click the videos